Stefan, Alexandre Benalla has already said he's made a big mistake. What else is he likely to say during that Senate hearing to try and convince his senators that this is not such a big deal after all? Well, it's very likely that he will answer uh, or give very little answers. He already said that he won't answer any questions that are related to the criminal uh, cases uh, that he is involved in. But he also last week was very condescending about the Senate. He called the president of this commission uh, Marques, um, and he also said that the Senate had no uh, legitimacy uh, of um, asking him any questions. So um, he is going into the Senate this morning in a very arrogant way, um, and it's very unlikely that he will give any answers uh, specifically to the questions asked. Well, Macron has been dismissing this case as a, a storm in a teacup, but he's been dealt some serious blows in the last uh, few weeks. He's lost his environment minister. And now, he's, um, now he's set to lose yet another member of his government, a political heavyweight and one very important ally, Gerard Colomb, the interior minister, said he's going to step down, uh, step aside next year. How big are these losses for Emmanuel Macron and how are they likely to affect him? Well, it is absolutely a big setback for Emmanuel Macron, the Manila case. Uh, this summer, Macron was, uh, well, like you said, he said it was a storm in a teacup. But actually, it isn't. Um, this affair really um, has had an influence on his popularity. Then his uh, two, well, actually a major um, environment minister resigned. Uh, that was also a bad sign. And now this week, the interior minister, Gérard Colomb, decided to leave the, the, minister, the government next year. Um, so these are all very bad signs signs for Emmanuel Macron. Um, the economy is uh, not doing very well in France. It actually has one of the lowest growth rates in the European Union. Um, the unemployment is also still not decreasing, contrary to all the other 27 uh, EU member states. So uh, the country is in a bad shape um, and actually Emmanuel Macron is not delivering in on his uh, promises. So um, yeah, the hearing today is just one of the very, uh, the large number of bad news for Emmanuel Macron over the last couple of weeks.